getting colder it seems. They actually said it might snow later in the week. Let's see if that happens, huh? And with that in mind, what's going on today? It's kind of interesting reading this one. People often joke because people are so afraid of things like drones and so forth. It creates over the top regulations. They're like, oh, I just fly a kite. So how about this one where apparently the police are using drones to find people flying, I guess, kites illegally with like certain strings. This one says, police bring out drone against lethal plastic string. You have to wonder if this is a parody article of sort, but apparently it's true. It says, with plastic string used for flying kites despite a ban, playing havoc with the lives of several residents, including a four-year-old boy who received more than 100 stitches on his face. Samrala police have started using drones to identify and locate people using the band thread to fly kites. Officials said with Basan Panchmi just a few days away, a lot of people fly kites and there are those who use plastic string, also known as Chinese door, to gain an upper hand in kite flights. Besides in cities, use of plastic thread is quite common in villages, police officials said. DSP Wariam Singh said following an injury to a child caused by the band string, they started using drones to track people using the same to fly kites. He said on Monday evening, they flew a drone in Samrala town for the purpose and to check criminal activity, if any. The officer said even as they have tried to ensure that plastic string is not sold in Samrala, some people might bring it from Lodiana or other neighboring cities. He said during videography, police found two to three persons flying kites and on checking it, was seen that they were using regular string instead of banned stuff. The DSP said they will carry out the drive in the coming days too. On Thursday, they will fly a drone in Machahuyuara area as well. He suggested that they will register cases against persons found using plastic string. Okay, this is crazy. This almost sounds like a drug bust or something like that. Imagine that, police officers flying around the area, scanning kites to see whether or not they're using illegal thread of sword. Again, it just seems kind of weird when you hear all the over the top regulations around the world. People saying, oh, I'm just gonna fly a kite. Now you're using quote drones to find people flying kites and all that? Well, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Although it's kind of weird too, because by the sounds of it, they're not actually using their own drone. Because it says here, we are using the drone of a private person for the operation and he is the one who flies it, as he has an expertise in aerial videography, said an official. We will try to cover rural areas too, as mostly kites are flown there, till Passant Panchmi and use of plastic string cannot be ruled out. Man, that's crazy, again, when you think about all this. And then right this one, which actually dealt with the police using their own drone, apparently to save someone's life. This one says, UPD deployed the ATV and drone units to assist Upton Fire and EMS with locating and extricating an injured hiker in a wooded area off of East Street near Peppercorn Hill Conservation Area. Upton firefighters, along with our mutual aid partners from Hopkinton, Hopedale, and Grafton carried the victim from the wooded area for approximately one mile due to the difficult terrain. The hiker was transported to Milford Regional Medical Center for treatment. So happy ending. It's just kind of amazing just to see the video and the pictures. Look at how many people went there to find like one individual. Harsh conditions and stuff like that too. I'm not sure if the drone actually scouted him out first or something like that because it seems like it was more like an overhead view afterwards from what this shows anyways after they found them but i can imagine it helps a lot if you're trying to find someone stranded in an area like this
like you're an interesting man of adventures. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.